So, as promised, I am here and here to talk about the collab. Uh, first things first, I would like to thank everyone who donated to the funds of the leukemia research because uh, uh, I said, well, as I remember, we raised more than of 16,000 really ducking quick. Seriously, I was truly amazing and better stay still is. Jesus, pe you people are amazing. Uh, but let's talk, let's talk about like the experience itself uh, on the collab. Uh, how it started. So. Uh, I was uh, basically just being a lazy bum, uh, laying in bed on my phone, uh, laughing at Twitter, because uh, that's what you do. When I saw something of interest, uh, a tweet inviting people to collab, uh, I have actually been wanting to get into animation for a long time, I have made my own tests and shit, and it felt like it was gonna be a really good uh, starting point. Uh, for actually getting into animation so naturally uh, I closed it but fortunately uh, a friend of mine who went in uh, gave me the nudge that I actually wanted to join ironically they were the one to bail out not me I don't hold it against them it's fine uh, it was uh, a bit uh, uh, stressful near the end. As the collab had the uh, most people together, we thought we could start by making a little exercise uh, to, to see how well everyone can do. So the idea was that nope.iv was uh, having also an anniversary. So, because it was also having an anniversary, we just reanimated that. The basic idea was that everyone was given four frames to uh, draw over, and uh, then one extra person needed to do the background. Overall, it looks nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. After that, uh, it was uh, time to actually start with the reanimation. Everyone had chosen from the available parts, and I took mine randomly. Fairly enough, it worked for me. I like chaos. The start was just black and white. Uh, what uh, took about a month and a half to finish, uh, with school and everything in between. Uh, School was though not the biggest problem uh, in between all of that, uh, because we all know what came after that. Yeah. Before uh, the second one, I actually started looking for a editor uh, uh, in the editor channels because I needed effects, and I found the guy. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, after that I continued with the second part and that came down much more easier because uh, Well, first of all, I made it I made it more in a style that I liked and uh, Second it just spins it wasn't that hard I screwed up the scene a little bit, but it it'll work fine I know I know how I you know like I had to just chop it from the end bit a bit or something like that, and then it would have been fine, uh, but I didn't, Damn. so yeah, it's just a guy spinning. Honestly, I kept thinking about meme with this one. The last part was simple enough, basically I gained a small panic attack as when I mister misunderstood the timeline, and that was the entire theme of the last part. It's simple, and the main high quality uh, object is Sniper himself, and as I was already given, the that ass. If uh, the effect guy did uh, cause a bit of trouble, let's say Dota is a very good game. 
<laughs> and uh, I found out uh, that editor plays that as well, which is cool. The effect was pretty, uh, looked pretty right, so here's the last part. At the end, it was very nice to take part in this wholesome event. Everyone who took part were so nice, supportive, even when I had doubts. I would just like to thank everyone, including Shork, for being very nice. Thank you. Now, just for a little bit end part, uh, I'm not really used to working with scripts. Uh, this uh, video might come in uh, as a little bit, uh, well, a bit chaotic, probably, or just not good. Anyways, I'm still trying to work on these things. I have an idea for another thing to talk about because I, because it's, I find it a bit more important. So yeah, keep in touch. One on the pin.